Finance teachers must know recession tips to save money on everyday expenses. Cancel subscriptions. You can easily save $500, $1,000 or even more a year by giving up on subscriptions you don't need or use. Up until 2020, subscription services exploded, and everything from toilet paper to t-shirts could be regularly delivered to your home. Companies love recurring revenue as they know customers seldom make an effort to cancel. However, unless you see the value and actively use the service, we suggest you cancel the subscription. The best way to find out what you subscribe to is to audit your most recent credit card bill and list of direct debits, and pick out the items to chop out. Once identified, simply log into the service and click cancel or call them up if that's easier. These services and products may include Streaming networks, do you need them all? HBO, Netflix, Amazon Prime, do you have time for more than one? The crowd favorite remains Netflix, with plans from around $150 per year, going up to around $275 for multi-devices. Magazines you don't read Did you still have unwrapped magazines at the end of the lockdown period? Cancel the subscription. Food and wine. Are you eating and drinking what is delivered? If not, cut back and save. Dropbox. Do you have a free plan but receive regular notifications to upgrade as you hit 2 gigabytes? It's around $120 per year if you do, but you can earn more space by referring friends. If that doesn't work for you, delete some stuff you don't need. Estimated savings, anything from $200 to $2,000 a year, depending on what you currently subscribe to. Renegotiate your life, income protection, and related cover, insurance needs. Underinsuring is not the solution, but many insurance policies overcharge when better deals can be found by shopping around for what you do. For life insurance and income insurance, you may be paying too much. You'll have more room to get a discount, and or get a better policy, if you visit a trusted insurance broker rather than talk to your existing insurer directly. We're not advocating cancelling insurance, instead, challenging what you pay and getting a better deal is the only way to avoid a loyalty tax by not shopping around. Top tip, during the process, make all the required disclosures so you can't be accused of having a pre-existing condition. If you're undergoing medical treatment, don't switch insurance as claiming will be near impossible. Estimated savings, up to $1,000 a year if you have existing life, income protection, trauma and related cover and no underlying health conditions. Get cheaper car and home insurance policies. Finance teachers' research proves both car insurance and home insurance have a big range when it comes to the cost of policies despite the benefits being the same or very similar. This means you can most likely get better deals by switching to a new provider. Estimated savings, up to $500 a year on car insurance if you have a good driving history, and up to $400 on home insurance existing life, income protection, trauma and related cover and no underlying health conditions. Consider cancelling contents insurance altogether. Content insurance is costly if you don't own much of value. The test is this, if you would struggle no longer having a laptop, TV, musical instrument, linen, cutlery, even clothing, and wouldn't have the money to replace your possessions, then contents insurance is probably a good idea. However, if instead you're paying for a policy and don't own many items of significant value, you could consider cancelling the policy altogether. Best of all, if you've prepaid for 12 months, you'll get the remaining months you don't need refunded. Estimated savings, if you cancel contents insurance you don't need, you can save up to $750 a year. Cancel expensive credit cards, or switch to low-cost or free cards. If you pay $50 plus per year for a credit card and then 20% plus interest on balances, there are cheaper options available. A low interest and low fee credit card is a good starting point to save every month on outstanding balances. Estimated savings, 
$1,000 a year for anyone with a gold slash platinum card carrying a balance of $3,000 to $5,000 month to month. Balance transfer credit cards cut debt cost. A $5,000 credit card balance at a 20% PA interest rate is incurring $1,000 plus in interest costs which is completely unnecessary. Savvy savers find a balance transfer deal, switch the debt to a 0%, or very low interest, deal and cut the existing card up. Over the length of the low interest period, you make repayments to clear the debt and avoid using the card for new purchases. It's the cheapest and most effective way to save on interest costs and move towards becoming debt-free. Estimated Savings $1,000 a year based on a $5,000 month-to-month balance. Cut overdraft costs with a better bank account. Overdraft interest rates and fees are huge, and being in overdraft for an average of $2,000 a year can cost up to $500 in interest and fees and charges. Some charge 10%, others as high as 23%. The good news is that joining a new bank offering a low interest overdraft is easy and painless and will certainly help you save money right away. Estimated savings, $200 to $300 per year. This is based on your overdraft interest rate falling from around 20% to 10% and an average overdrawn balance of $2,000 to $3,000. If your overdraft is often more, your savings will be higher. Delete apps like Afterpay and Layby. In this new economy, cash is king, and we never know what's around the corner. Paying for a hair appointment at $50 a week for 6 weeks, or $75 a week for 4 weeks for an impulse shopping trip, feels a bit, yesterday. These apps rely on continuous consumer spending and add another complication to keeping your money under control. If you really want it, saving up for it and paying for it in cash is fast becoming the new normal. Estimated savings, anything from $100 to up to $5,000 a year, if you're a regular user and stop purchasing on non-essentials. Switch power suppliers. With many electricity retailers offering joining discounts and competitive tariffs, shopping around and switching is likely to save you money month after month. Estimated savings, up to $1,000 a year if you're a moderate to heavy electricity use, based on our research and price comparison. Switch to a cheaper SIM-only phone plan. On-account phone plans can get expensive, especially if you're paying for data and minutes you don't use. With challenger brands competing against established networks, there are bargains to be had. If you're paying $60 plus a month for a rolling contract plan, chances are a challenger brand can do it for around $40. Estimated savings. $150 to $300, depending on your data usage habits. Switch to a cheaper broadband or fiber deal. Broadband and fiber companies compete hard for business, and many offer fantastic sign-up deals if you commit to a 12-month plan. Estimated savings up to $500 a year. Swap paid activities for free things to do. If you have children, there are lots of free things you and your family can do together. Outside activities are, arguably, healthier and more memorable, the earth's nature and scenery are free, so it's a win-win for everyone. Estimated savings. Around $1,000 a year, if you'd otherwise spend $20 plus a week. Save money on driving costs. Despite the cost of oil being low, prices at the pump are still around at record highs, which makes using a car expensive. Everything from avoiding premium unleaded for standard cars, saving on fuel your petrol bills by changing your driving, bargaining down the price of tires and repairs and considering use of public transport. Estimated savings. Up to $1,000 a year. Sell an underused car and avoid all the ongoing costs. If you're struggling with the costs of driving, selling your car altogether is worth considering. Or, if your family has two cars, would you be okay with one? When you sell a car, you'll not only get a sum of money, but you'll save a lot of ongoing costs. 
There will be no more repairs costs, insurance, and petrol station bills. If you're a young family and one parent is commuting by public transport anyway, it's worth looking into. Retired couples may also benefit from single car ownership. Estimated savings, $1,000 a year in road costs, $1,000 plus a year in finance costs, if applicable, and $500 plus a year in insurance costs. Take lunch to work. This simple tip can add up to a lot of savings over a year. If the average lunch costs around $10, making a sandwich or packing something even more exciting can easily save you over $2,000 a year. The finance teacher says, when I was about to leave my investment bank career, I knew every lunch I took to work was financing my future. My workmates would easily spend $40 to $50 a day on lunch, but in the last few months, I sat it out and chowed down on a tasty homemade sandwich. I estimate I probably saved about $3,000 and felt better as a result, and had more time to work on my business plans during the lunch break. Estimated Savings $1,000 to $2,500 a year, depending on what you spend making your lunch. Save up for things you want, and build a savings fund. When 2020 hit, many people lost their income overnight and had no money in the bank to cushion them without government aid. To help prevent financial stress and sleepless nights, make the decision to save up for purchases and pay for them in cash. This may be an unfamiliar approach, but it's guaranteed to reduce expenses and debt in the long term. If you're not prepared to save for it, you probably don't want it as much as you think. Top tip. To help reduce the risk of spending unnecessarily, try leaving your FPOs or credit cards at home when you go out. Instead, carry cash, you won't be able to make impulse buys if you know the money has to last. Estimated savings. At least $1,000 a year, but likely to be considerably more. Impulse purchasing is a major cost, so eliminating it will boost your savings and help you create a rainy day fund. Comment below what you are doing to prepare for the upcoming recession. For more money, budgeting, and personal finance skills made simple, be sure to like and subscribe.